Okay. Oh, this is the witch's brew. Okay, let's get in here. Should I save? Probably. I'm guessing the colors might mean something. Or am I going I think it's just supposed to look like a happy, happy house. Okay. And then that's the witch's house. And you're like, oh, hey, that kind of makes sense. Oh, we're already back at the orgasmic. Oh, no, this was the original orgasmic beanstalk. Yeah, we're almost over the old save games. And actually, I think we'll make it next time that we go in. Okay, that sounds good. I'm Zerfall. I'm the Clinch. And we'll see you in the Witch's Brew. Hey, I'm Zerfall. And I'm the Clinch. And we're heading in this witch's house. Hopefully oh. she's not home. Now, if she is home, you have to just leave right away. Okay. And then go back in. Open the door. No, she's not here. All right, so you got to go into her bedroom. Ho, ho, ho. Because the only thing you can really see... I think we have to go into her cupboard, and we have to take the note from the side of the bed as well. Okay. I'm just going to double check this. Uh... Oh, actually... Oh, apparently we can eat part of the house when we get back outside. Uh -oh. Off in the distance, you hear a high, squeaky voice say, I can smell someone tasty in my house. Okay, we'll have to read that later. Now, just wait here for a second, because do you remember how Hansel and Gretel beat the witch? Yeah, they pushed her in the cage. Did they push her in the cage? Hmm. They pushed her in something. Hmm. Chair? They, no, they didn't push her in the chair. The oven? That's right. Oh, the oven. So, she should show up. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. The witch mutters, I am going to get my oven ready for something. Okay. So, oh. get ready. You should probably type it in now. Push witch in oven. You might have just had to type in push witch. <laughs> oh, you can't do two at once. Curses. Yes. Courageously, you manage to push the witch into the oven, where she flashes and melts away into a harmless blob? Congratulations! Do we eat her? No, I don't think so, but you can probably open her cupboard now safely. Okay. Open. Cupboard. Ooh, Ooh a block of cheese. Pick up cheese. Ah, the hungry woodsman. We teach him to plant cheese. You pluck the Swiss cheese from her shelf. Huh. It's interesting that the cheese they decide to make very specific. Yes. So, um, I think the door is the little middle part there. Oh, it's that? That's her welcome mat. Oh. Or her unwelcome mat. So, use the house real quick. Use house? Yeah. Use house. Oh, try eat house. Eat house. Yum! The house tastes even better than it looks! Delicious. Great. We got points. Maybe that's why she was so angry. People keep eating her house. Yeah. Did we just figure out the motivation of the witch? I think so. Huh. She doesn't. She wasn't even trying to attract children to eat no. them. She was just angry. How do you like being eaten, you damn brats? Yeah, that's how my house feels. Yeah. Just like some sort of weird witch in the woods post-traumatic stress thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so we're back to a place we've been before. Curses. Let's go straight up. Okay. So we might actually... Be really close to the end? Um... Bo -bo 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 -bo. Oh, that damn beanstalk. Yeah, we haven't walked to the right of this. No, we haven't. So is there still another level above this one? I think there's another, yeah, going up one more. Okay. Okay. But I think we're getting pretty close, because we've got two of the treasures. Yep. And we've been jumping all over this uh, FAQ, but... I'm kind of worried about this one. Uh, I think as long as the water's in off color of blue, you're okay. I don't I don't recall any water other than the moat okay. being dangerous. Oh, and the water that's moving rapidly. Because yes. he's actually a very poor swimmer. He's actually walking along the bottom right now and just splashing the water for fun. <laughs> uh, it's like one of those things where the person drowns in, in the tiny bit of water, like you said. Ooh. Ooh. What's in there? What's in there? The wolf? Seems like a terrible idea. Okay. Look in hole. Looking in the small in the hole, you see this faint green glow. Pick up green glow. St 
stick in hand. Can you just? Oh, can you? Can you duck? Oh, duck. Can you move while ducked? No. Can you? Can you go into the hole now? I don't know. Look in hole. Maybe you just go in hole. You need to be much smaller. Oh well. Hmm. Maybe unduck. We'll probably have to come back to this later. Oh, there we go. Wait. Well, let's keep moving along. We'll eventually find something. Well, that stinks. There's no instant gratification there. No. Ooh, there's like a mesa in the distance. That's kind of different. Yeah. Then you can never get there. You can see it there, but as you walk closer to it, eventually you just wrap around the world and end up somewhere else. I bet you. That's where uh, Red Dead um, Revolution takes place. Maybe. Or Red Dead Redemption. Okay, so we've. This is the full circle because the next screen will be the bridge to go up. So you might want to go up one and then start moving to your left. Okay, okay, okay. Although I think you can get a pebble here. Ooh. Pick up pebble. No. Try rock. Pick up rock. Oh, oh well. I thought that's what it looked like, because I think that it's actually a rock that you would use to kill That's, the... like, really scary water. Is that yeah. full of, like, stingrays? Maybe. But probably just drowning. Ooh. Oh, there's a mushroom there. So, clearly, we didn't get that when we were on the other side. On the other side. We never were on the other side of this one. We haven't I... been up this far. I thought we have. I thought that's where Rumpel still... Oh, no. Maybe not. But if we walk around the long way, I'm sure we'll <laughs> Do we have to plant something there. here? I don't think so. Okay. You just gotta walk mm. slowly around the world. Oh, oh what, looks like we made it to wood. No wonder why so many of these trees are cut down, and no wonder why he's so poor and has a rickety old house because he well, he's only cut down like five trees. Yeah, we call that lazy woodsmanship. Yeah, and I think he's just—I don't even think it's wood on the roof. I think it's just cardboard. Go inside the house. Yep. Yeah. Or could we just get the axe, kill him? And... Maybe, but I don't think that's the right oh, way to do it. Oh, look. Talk. Oops. Talk to man. Welcome to my humble abode. Let me wiggle my hands while I speak. Okay, let's go talk to the woman. Maybe she's more of a conversationalist than him. Maybe. Talk to a woman. I'd like to offer you something. Give woman cheese. Does that sound good? You can't do that. Oh. What do you have in your inventory? You got a carrot? I think if you type in inventory, it shows you. Let's assume I know how to spell inventory cheese. Oh, we found the key by accident. And what was it, backslash? It was... Was it the other slash? Weird. Try the top one above enter. I think I think it was just this. Ah, it doesn't matter. Ooh. It doesn't understand he's. Okay. It is right. That's weird. Okay, well we've we've got it. Uh you might just have to go through the menu. <sighs> oh, it's tab, there you go. We got cheese, carrot, gold walnut, note. We haven't read the note. Four leaf clover, ceramic bowl. It says Ooh, fill on it. Fill. Um, water bucket, water, blah blah blah. Okay. Put cheese in a bowl. Everyone likes bowl cheese. No. <laughs> okay. Well, I apparently have to go somewhere. And no, fill. I think you can do it here. You do have a bucket of water with you. You could just try fill bowl. Okay. Fill bowl. Try use bowl. Use bowl. Use bowl with water. Hmm. Fill bowl with water. On this, on the on the walkthrough, it really just says, um, "Use the bowl on Graham to fill it." Use bowl with Graham. Or on Graham. Now this might be the VGA version. 
Use bowl. Maybe use water on bowl. Use water on bowl. Do you know what? Go outside. Oh, this is tired. Go to the pump. Ah. And fill it there. I think that's what it is in this version. So. Pump? Maybe just use pump. Use pump with bowl. Man. Use, use pump on bowl. Use pump. This pump doesn't work. Okay. Well, do you know what? Let's uh, <laughs> let's star wipe this one. Star wipe. Okay, so we figured out one of the things is that we just have to give them the bowl. Oh. So puzzled, the couple wonders why we gave them a bowl. And then we fill the bowl. The couple is amazed and delighted as the bowl miraculously fills with a bubbling stew. As a token of their gratitude, they offer you their last earthly possession, the woodcutter's fiddle. And because we're pricks, we're taking it. Yep. Wait, are we allowed to say... Seriously? These poor people can't afford to repair their floor. Sorry about that. I don't know the last time I said it. Son of a... Visiting the honey. Oh, no. Uh, well, well, time kid. for another star wipe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back. Okay, let's try this again. Get bowl. Fill bowl. I love how they just wiggle their hands when they talk. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you can have our only thing that brings us pleasure because we just need food that bad. <laughs> so you probably want to save the game before you to close that hole. Yeah. Okay, I'm past her. What about this one? Okay, save game. And let's go. How far is the hole down in their floor? I understand that their floor has a hole in it. Do they have a basement? This no. is like a ramshackle shack. You should yeah. fall down to your shins being down through the hole and you're like, oops. <laughs> uh, pick up fiddle. The polished wood feels like satin, but it seems to still vibrate from the last song it played. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Oh, I got the vibrating function. Maybe... Th Let's see, where are we going? Hey, I dodged it this time. Were you going to imply that maybe it was the wife's fiddle, not the husband's? Yeah, I decided it was inappropriate. Well? Normally these things don't stop me. <laughs> but for some reason that one did. It just felt like implying that the fiddle was a vibrator just was over the line. <laughs> Pick up axe. The uh, old axe is Tedley Witch. Now, did you actually put an E on the end of axe? Did I what? Put an E on the end of axe when you said that? No, I don't know. I didn't. So for once the game was forgiving. Yeah. Or maybe it's kind of like an American thing. Oh, well, maybe. What do you think here? Well, we might as well keep going. Oh, we need to get that mushroom. Yes, but to get the mushroom, we have to... I think we're to the point where we need to go find that bird again. I'll glance through this really quick to see if there's anything else we haven't done. Okay, I'm still going to walk this direction. Oh, yeah, because we haven't been this way. And so. it's... Oh, look at that. There's another bridge. There's the walnut. It's a very expansive land. Take the fiddle. Oh. So that brings you back down to Rumpelstiltskin's house. And you can't go left, so you gotta go up. Okay. And I think this is back to the first area we yeah. were in. So I think we've I think we've been all over the world. Yep. So go go up because we don't want to bother with this castle. I have no yet. idea where the bird is. Well, I'll tell you. Um. Actually. Enter the cave and walk down the path to a door at the end of the cave. Use the door to exit the cave. 
east, wait for the elf to appear, talk to the elf to get a ring. So there's two things we haven't done. We haven't gotten a ring from an elf, which is just for points. Go right. Um, it might be right from here. Okay. And we haven't ridden the bird. Okay. I don't think we need necessarily to get the ring from the elf unless we stumble across that cave entrance again. Okay. Oh, that's water. Oh, this might be close to it, though, because I remember talking about that a while ago. The giant reeds. Yes. Oh, man. It's all just perspective. It's foresh It's foreshortening. Those reeds are actually not in the water. They're <laughs> floating in the air really close to the front of the screen. Okay, that actually makes more sense. There is a cave. Oh, here's the bird. So there you go. You're down to the bot rock bottom of the left rock. And... I don't know, you type in ride bird or something. Or the bird just eventually comes to you if you go there. So go stand behind this rock. I think it's grab bird. It might be the right-hand side. You have to go to the bird. It seems to be spending an awful lot of time over there. Yeah, that makes way more sense. Okay, I'm going to stay over here for a second, though. What if you just hit enter? Don't okay. understand. Grab. Okay, Not so right it now. is Ride Bird. Yeah, it's for sure that one over there. Yeah, he seems to be following a uh, distinctive pattern. It keeps taking him to that little rock zone. Uh, come on back down, Birdie. And of course, then he's going to run to the other side. <laughs> Here he oh, comes. No. And. He tricked me. Yeah. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. No, but maybe this time I'll come back on yeah. the angle. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And. Not right now. Seriously. Okay, maybe I. It's always from up and behind. Oh, man. Here we go. Walk behind the small walk on the left side of this area and jump to grab one of the bird ones flying above. So, oh, the bird left. Seriously? Oh, man. Okay, so walk off the screen and back. So uh, you're never going to have to type right bird, but apparently you'll have to jump at the right time. So <laughs> it's the dumbest little jump. He doesn't even get off the ground. Yet somehow that makes him ride the bird. Do you think the bird will ever come back? I do, because we saw the bird before. And then okay. also saw it again. Okay. So I would go left off the screen and then back right and see if he, if he okay. comes back. This is one of those things that's dumb. Actually, King's Quest Three has the worst one, where the bird has to fly by and randomly drop a feather. And so you have to walk back on and off the screen a million times until this bird flies back. And drops a feather. This time, is, this isn't as bad. We, I think you can just wait around for the bird to show up if you haven't seen him in a bit. So, like, we could probably just come here and then crank the speed up. And stay on the screen. Okay. And eventually the bird will come back. Oh, it's already back, see? Curses. So, you need to get down there, and when he does that sort of thing, you gotta jump. That's like the first time he's gone down there. Well, just get close to him and hit jump. Okay, hopefully he comes back. Okay. We're waiting. Just try pressing jump. Maybe the bird's already close enough. Oh, see, you're summoning oh, the bird with your jump. maybe excited them. Maybe not. I mean, maybe you can do it on the other side, too, and this person just thinks that's the best place to, to grab the bird. Just try jumping anytime you're near the bird. Yeah, I'm going to go back over here. This seemed like a lot better spot. Let's check this Until out. Until you said that. If he goes, oh, I'm gonna shit. Now you can use your number pad instead if you want to walk on angles. Jump. Yes. Oh my god, you jumped so high. Who could this giant bird be taking you that you got your head stuck in his talons? He doesn't even <laughs> want to be carrying you. <laughs> oh, I like that we're swimming. <laughs> I'm surprised this isn't like a game over screen. Yeah. Because this is the exact same place the the bird took you or the witch took you. Yeah. Now the this is going to drop us on the mushroom? Oh no. Into this hole. Are you sure it's a friendly bird? 
Because I think the bird might be trying to kill us. Can you, if you press a button, do you like, does the bird let go of you? Oh no, you automatically does. Ouch! So don't go in that hole yet. Go to the left. To the left. That's where the mushroom is. I'm yes. assuming that's where the mushroom is. What about these plants? Raspberries? Do we need to I pick any? Maybe they're raspberries. Let's they're made from... Look at bush. Uh, you know there's nothing. I know there's nothing. Some sweet shrooms here, though. Now go down the hole. Yep. Grammy, go down the hole. Yes. There's a theme. Yep. Like, Can you go up? Is there anything up? Probably not. I mean, this walkthrough is doing a pretty good job of telling yeah. us. But Let's just go down here. The, I think the, the main problem with this game is that it's an adventure game and you want to explore. And back when this was the epitome of adventure games, yeah, yeah you would want to spend these time exploring. But nowadays... There is just so much walking around that's so slow. And you're on a screen and nothing's on that screen. You're yeah. just like, oh, get to the next screen. Exactly. Yeah. I think you need to walk south. I think so, too. It seems to be the only path. Now, there's going to be a couple of trials and tribulations we have to get through. Should I save? Maybe. Oh. Restart Glorious. Yep, we've made a full circle. Okay, here we go. Um, in a cave. And next time on King's Quest 1, we're going to be in a cave. Nice. <laughs>